I'm Heather from French Villa Management and this is my very first Instagram Live, so bear with me. And I'm lucky enough today um, to have Tracy Leonetti from LBS joining us. So while we're waiting for people to join us, Tracy, why don't you tell us a bit about what, what it is you do? So hi Heather, thanks Hello. for having me. I'm really pleased to be here today. It is also my first Instagram Live today. Uh -huh. Those people that know me uh, will probably see me on Facebook more than Instagram. So. For those that don't know me, my name is Tracy Linetti and I'm a relocation expert based here in the south of France and it's our job to help people like you move into France or want to live in France or create a business to navigate the rough waters of the French administration system. Which they are very rough, <laughs> I can vouch for that, I really they are can. A bit, so. And uh, so, yeah, we're here today to answer any questions that you may have, but while we're waiting for people, John, what do you do, Heather, tell us a little bit more about your business because well, I know we've known you for a long time we I know you do, but they might not no this is true we manage villas basically and we do pretty much whatever a client wants um, you know it's a, it's kind of a bespoke service so people can choose the bits that they want and the bits that they don't mm -hmm. want like pool and cleaning or the whole shebang gardens window cleaning I mean everything paperwork wise uh, we'll do the the basics like if somebody wants their electric contract um, you know something doing with that that i can deal with anything above that we have experts like you tracy to take over because the administration system in this country is <laughs> a joke well it's a nightmare sorry french people i love you but i mean it, it is isn't it? it it kind of is i mean you know it's it's like anything uh when you move to a new country when you don't know the system and specifically if you don't know the language that well yeah it can be a problem and actually just to you know so you don't feel so bad about this even people who speak you know french or are french come to us because it's not because yeah. you speak french that you know the french processes so we're very lucky to have a, a really good uh, a, a bit like you heather we have a bespoke service like you yeah you know, what the client needs is what you do yeah um so that that is you know how we try and help them whether it be you know a business creation health call are at the moment of course the big question is visas ah right yeah because after brexit things have changed because before um we have a lot of clients who have second homes here mm -hmm. who rent their places out um but before they could use them whenever they want now things have changed after brexit i believe well you know brexit has been a big change for everybody we've had of course the big run-up to the whole you know uh, residency cards because you're you know a french person or a person living in France before the transition period ended and now we're going to a whole new different uh, part of the the Brexit which is helping people who want to come to France after the transition period ended mm -hmm. and of course people like your clients who are non-residents and want to just come and benefit for a few months three four five months of the year they're stuck with this problem of they have no freedom of movement so if you're watching this you know live or afterwards you know uh, what are the options that you have to come to france to be in your uh, secondary home and to be able to stay longer than three months that is the big question that's happening right now and that's what we're dealing with um so are there options because some people might want to spend sort of 50 50 50 percent of the time in england and 50 percent over in france here are there options for that or there's always options of course whether it's options that you know your clients or want to uh to go for that is the question because for example at the moment you have the 9180 rule which you probably right. all heard about the 9180 whereby you can come to france and you can stay no longer than 90 days and never 180 and just to clarify this it's kind of like a rolling window, so you need to look back. And I literally, when I speak to my clients, I look, look back, back over my shoulder <laughs> and say, you know, it's 180 days. So you look back and make sure you haven't stayed more than 90 days in that 180, and then you're okay. For those of your clients who want to stay longer than that, and I know there's many who want to come for four months or leave for a month and come back for another yeah. month, you can go for a visitor's visa. So there's a long-stay visitor's visa that you request from your embassy, uh, the French consulate in the UK. And you can apply either for a six-month visa or a year visa. Right. So there are options. There are options. It depends what the long-term objectives of yeah. your clients are as to which option to go with. Because there are lots of different visas. But it seems yeah. like the visitor's visa might be the one appropriate to your clients. Yeah, more than likely. I think mm. it will be. 
And how has it been for you then? I guess you know because we're talking about Brexit and and the and the different rules of visas. How's it been for your clients with all the COVID restrictions and you know coming yeah. going? I know it's been difficult times for mine. So what's yeah. it been like for yours? It's been really difficult because there's been lockdown situations in England, and I know they're just coming out of them now. We're in lockdown of sorts over here mm. so a lot of people i mean people haven't been able to get over here as much as they'd like to fingers crossed things will open up and we will get a season and people will be able to use their their second homes their holiday homes and rent property out because a lot of people you know in order to use it themselves they like to rent the the, the property out now mm. it, it all depends none of us really know as mm. to you know what's going to happen but Obviously, whilst people haven't been able to get over, we've been looking after the properties like we always do. Um, you know, pools won't clean themselves, gardens yeah, don't look after like, themselves. Hey, do I know that? Yes. Pools and gardens do not clean themselves, and, you know, these are the go-to people for that. Yeah, Sorry. I mean, exactly. We'll, we'll do, uh, you know, pretty much whatever people want us to, but there's something in particular now which will be relevant um, coming up to the holiday season. Mm is a, a covid clean as it's called there oh, are okay. there are um, new um guidelines in place um for basically how to clean now and you've got to follow them it's super important we do not just for the law but because it's yeah. important yeah. you know for people yeah well i guess that's quite reassuring as well for people watching this afterwards that you know when you're coming over your clients they know they're going to you're respecting the the rules and regulations Absolutely. that are going to come over and that everything is going to be perfect when we get here. I know um, getting over here has been an issue. I mean, I've had clients ringing from the airport being not being able to really? get in. A couple of months ago, it was pretty tough. Yeah. Just after the Brexit day, it got a bit tough. People, you know, if you don't have that piece of paper yes. to get in with, yeah. you know, the walk card uh, email confirmation, people were getting stuck at the airport and people were getting the passport stamped and things like that. It seems to have calmed down now, so Thank don't goodness. worry so much. But I know for your guy, your people are were stuck not getting over here, so you've had to really take care of them. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we do. Uh, one particular uh, client that comes to mind uh, hasn't been able to get over, so he wants weekly perimeter checks. Now that's absolutely fine. So we'll send somebody. We've got an amazing team who we heavily rely mm. on now. We've we've found them over many years. Mm. Um, so one of our people go and do perimeter checks make sure everything is safe yeah. not just perimeter but inside the villa as well you know we don't want somebody having a leak they don't know something about yeah. so oh gosh, yeah, you know if there is you. any problem we can obviously resolve that problem with one of our team because it's a bit like yourself tracy um for any paperwork above my pay grade i would refer them to you because i know and trust you you've you've done a lot of work for me I know you're good at what you do. Oh, thank you. No, I mean you really, really have, and and that's the situation with with us, is it's like that with all our uh, the people we work with, the plumbers, the electricians. It's taken us years to find the right people oh, that you can trust. You know, it actually, it's a, it's a really good saying what they say. It's not what you know, it's who you know, isn't it? And yeah. when you surround yourself with those right people, then you get the job done. Then it's important, and. Um, and we're just talking about this actually before we went live today. I was at the prefectural uh, yesterday. You know, it's kind of like my second home, not just mine, but my team as well. Thank you uh, to my team out there. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, being able to go to the, to the prefectural and hand over your list of, of files outstanding and have somebody you know actually you know take that and say they'll email you and come back to you. That's it's, unheard of. You know, it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 a proof of years of knocking on the doors and please listen to us. I, yeah. I was you know quite quite pleased about that i guess what would be important to mention for people out there watching this is you know brexit has caused a lot of uh, problems and questions and i was talking to a client just the other day um about driving licenses as well there's a big there's big a um, queue isn't there for this or the big problem is driving license for uk people living in france right now it's still blocked and um, we've been in contact even with the Senate to find out what's going on. Right. And until that agreement has been fixed between uh, the UK and Europe, as in there'll be a reciprocal agreement going on, until that is actually defined and signed on the dotted line, the exchange um, will not happen in France. Right. We have absolute great hope that's going to happen quickly, as in at least by the summer, so that people can then go and exchange the British licence for a French one. In the meantime, unfortunately, you're just going to have to keep them. And the big problem is for those who have got expiring 
British yeah, driving yeah. licence because they can't renew them in the UK and they can't change them in France. So there is a few people, quite a few people, who are stuck yeah. in this kind of loophole right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not good So, thing. you know, just hang on for the moment and bear with us. It's going to happen. It's just going to take a little bit more time um, than than we expected. But you'll be in the know. You'll be in the know and be able to... Well, if you reach out and make sure you're on our, either on the Facebook page or if you're on our Instagram page or and on the newsletter, then you'll know because we you have... You have a Serenity it. Club or something as well, don't you? What's... Yeah, the Serenity Club actually we have is uh, basically um, a club for people who uh, get support all year round. So it can be uh, people who have a small business, so we manage all the paperwork, or it can be our prestige clients who get you know hands-on support with tax, like now tax time people, don't forget about it. So we help them with the tax and you know healthcare, capitals and driving licenses. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Visas, yeah, they basically get support all year round in the Serenity Club. So um, we just did a webinar last night on tax actually. Oh, fun. Tax, oh, my favourite subject. Let's, let's talk about tax, baby. Let's talk about you. <laughs> I've got a question, ladies. Oh, okay. a question. By the way, this that was Jenny from The Social Sitters, who's uh, behind the scenes doing all this for us today. So what's the so question? So you've got a question. Can Brits move to France and start work before getting residency? Can Brits move to France and, and start, start work. working before residency? Mm-hmm. No. The short answer is no. If you want to move to France after the effect, if you've moved to France or you're moving to France after the end of the transition period, you uh, and you want to work, you have to apply for a visa from the French consulate in the UK. And when you apply for a visa, you have different options of visas. So if you're applying for a, a work visa, it's a different um, a different document list to if you're applying for a visitor's visa, which is the one we discussed earlier on in the live. So if you have an employment contract or if you want to set up a business then when you you off that uh, so you apply online for the appropriate visa and if it's a work visa then it's a salaried visa you apply online and of course you'll have a work contract and all those documents to supply but that has to be done before you come to France that visa request so you can't become a you could come over to France and visit France but you wouldn't come over to France and start working unless you have your visa so it wasn't like the old days what we, we came no, over here no, we yeah. started a business and now now you have right, to apply for a different. work visa before you come over um, so I hope that answers your question um, if not put a little message if it give me a thumbs up give me a I'm not sure how it works in sure Instagram. I know in Facebook it's a, a thumbs up or a like but uh, let me know if that's answered your question um, or if not, I'll, I'll give it a bit more detail. But yeah, you have to reply before you come over. Yeah, so things are very, very different, aren't they, from what they used to be? Well, you've the lost... Uh, the British have lost the freedom of movement. It's the yeah. biggest thing, I think, that you've lost, is the free- and the freedom to vote, of course, as well. Um, hence why a lot of people have... There's a lot of new Irish citizens happening now. There's a lot of French citizens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, although becoming a resident, you'll get your carte de séjour, which allows you to stay in France as a resident. It doesn't give you freedom of movement. You have to have a European passport to get freedom of movement. Which um, I have, with your help, applied for. You have, actually, yes. I did, but I've still... I've been passed, a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I passed the language test. <laughs> but I'm still, I've still got to do a, a test on the French... On France, basically, haven't I? Yeah, you're at the stage now, you're waiting for your appointment. At the appointment, you'll have to go through a um, an interview where you've got the little book, the Livre de Citoyen. Yeah, I haven't got the book yet, so oh, well, I've got I need that. the book. You need the book, <laughs> I'll give you that. So, um, Scary stuff. So you will eventually have a, a European, well, you have a French passport. Yeah, it'll European. be dual, dual passports. I still, exactly. have, I still have my British one, uh, yeah. English one. I always want to keep that, but I also want a French one if it's possible. So, so. if you've been in France for longer than um, five years then you can apply for citizenship and that will give you that freedom of movement back. So, I think, um, have we got any other questions we need to answer? Anything else? No. So, um, Well, um, if anybody has got any questions or wants any further information on villa management, then please send us a DM or reach out to us on Facebook because I believe this is going to be posted on Facebook. And uh, there are various ways to contact us, and the same for you, I guess. Can yeah, you if you need any help or you've got any questions, you can find me on Instagram under Tracy Linetti, and you can find me on Facebook, Tracy Linetti, and on Twitter, under Tracy Linetti. Um, and uh, just reach out. Yeah. Okay. Hope you all have a lovely day, and thanks for joining us. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye.